The following is a production of Learfield Sports. Hello and welcome to another exciting season of Black Bear Insider. I'm your host, Brian Sullivan. Going to be with you all season long as we talk about everything University of Maine athletics related. We start the season by speaking with University of Maine football coach Jack Cosgrove. He and his Black Bears hoping to head back to the playoffs as they were there in 2011. We'll also meet the rest of that Black Bear football team. Our student athlete of the week is Holly Stewart. She plays field hockey here in Orno. In addition, we'll find out about a new app for Black Bear sports fans. It's called Black Bear Nation. All the scores and highlights you need to keep up to date as a University of Maine fan. And we'll go on the road to Fenway Park with our Black Bear Road Cam. All the sights and sounds from away games, plus a look at the upcoming schedule and much, much more. Don't go away. You're watching Black Bear Insider. We'll be right back. Hey, I'm Bruce from His Wireless Company. He could have switched to U.S. Cellular and been rewarded with a new phone faster, but why do that when it's so rewarding keeping your old phone forever? It's working. I'm a man, honey. <laughs> Married a man. U.S. Cellular believes you deserve better with reward points to get you new phones faster. U.S. Cellular. Hello better. <laughs> No matter what your game is, indoors or out, the Student Recreation and Fitness Center at the University of Maine is your place to play, work out, relax, and have fun. The Rec Center has state-of-the-art cardio and weight training equipment, a pool, spa, and sauna, a running track, and more than 60 fitness classes a week. Or take your game outside with the Maine Bound Adventure Center. Hit the climbing or bouldering wall. Learn how to kayak, go rock climbing. Whatever game you like, the Student Recreation and Fitness Center is your place to play. The Fisher Extreme V. V Plow Performance Defined. Until now. Introducing the Fisher XV2. Taking V to a whole new extreme. Extreme flared wings. Proven trip edge protection. Double acting cylinders. A new generation in V Plow Performance. The XV2. Only from Fisher. To learn more about the XV2 and to find a dealer near you, visit fisherplows.com. Welcome back to Black Bear Insider, now joined by Maine football head coach Jack Cosgrove. Coach, thank you very much for joining us. It's good to be here, Brian. Off to a great start to the 2013 season, a nice win against Norfolk State. Before we get to that, let's talk a little bit about the preseason and the hard work that you guys put in to, to get ready for the year. Well, you know, I, our guys, uh, their preseasons really started uh, during the summer. We had uh, great numbers up here of our guys who committed to, to being around our strength and conditioning coach, uh, Matt King and uh, just dedicating themselves to, to kind of the, the, their development as, as athletes in, in the weight room and out here on the field. And uh, that commitment has, has been growing year in and year out. And it, it's something that is, uh, it's great to see from the head coach's seat, from, from the coaching seat in, of all of our uh, guys on staff, simply because it, uh, it's the work that they put in that's going to help us uh, reach our potential, you know, and, and, and strive for the goals that we've set as a football team. And, uh, you know, we were ready when we got into camp. Uh, you know, I, I felt like we had a very, very productive camp, very uh, competitive camp, uh, and we're fortunate, I think, uh, closing out down the stretch to, to be a relatively healthy team. We had some early camp injuries, but, uh, you know, when, when, the, when it came time to get ready for game week, I, I thought we were in pretty good shape. Do you credit that offseason work to the health that you were able to maintain throughout the preseason? Well, I, I think in, in a way, make no mistake about it, the preseason's a grind for everybody everywhere. I mean, it's a wear-tear time, and it, it uh, mental and physical uh, tired state uh, is developed, both, you know, uh, because of what we do out here on the field and, and just the, the challenges of this game and the, the bombardment that, that we go through in terms of the, the offense, the defense, and special teams installation. So um, I don't think anybody would ever uh, across the country would ever say, hey, we were you know, gung-ho throughout the course of preseason. It wears you down. But I do think there, were, there was a toughness element in place that allowed us to finish strong and to finish, uh, as I said, relatively healthy. A slightly different look to the Colonial Athletic Association this year. Talk to me about uh, a couple of new opponents. Yeah, it, it's it's very good to see uh, you know both Albany and Stony Brook join the conference. Uh, you know, selfishly because they're high here in the Northeast and they, they bring uh, a couple of teams who have uh, you know uh, not only strong football backgrounds but a closeness and proximity to us. 
and uh, we were getting a little bit lonely up here in New Hampshire and, and Maine. Uh, you know, initially Rhode Island was leaving, they're coming back as well. So, I mean, it gives us more of a Northeast uh, uh, segment or, or section of our conference. And, and perhaps down the road we can add another team, have a six and six deal, which is, is uh, you know, what we had really when we were in the A-10. And uh, what I thought really worked out best when you line the league up and, uh, you know, planned your schedule and competed against all these teams. I thought it was really the best of the best right there. And you mentioned, you know, these close teams. It's really uh, where rivalries are born. You, know, you, you look at a team like UNH, you know, separated by just a few few uh, hours uh, via bus and, you know, played a team 100 plus times. It's just those things that really keep uh, fans coming back and interested in the program. Yeah, they, they, they say, Brian, the best leagues are the bus leagues, you know, where you, you, there's a proximity and a, a working knowledge of um, the schools, the rivals, the teams, the mascots, uh, the interchange with the fans, um, you know, Outside of New Hampshire, you know, there's there's not a lot of close proximity teams to us. Uh, uh, so again, seeing Albany come in and, and knowing that there's going to be a long history there, we've we're kind of ahead of the conference itself in in a rivalry, at least the beginning of a rivalry with Albany, and we've also played Stony Brook previously. So maybe we're out in front a little bit in the league wise and, and helping develop those kind of close rivalries. You open up the season two games on the road. This is a team historically has done very well on the road. Talk to me a little bit about why you think that is. Well, we invest in it. I mean, it's, it's that simple. We've decided that to, to invest our money, uh, and these are fundraised dollars that we invest in, in, the, in the travel part of things to help our team get on the road in, in a very business-like manner. You know, I mean, uh, one of the things that uh, um, we've been challenged to do is go play, you know, at places like Nebraska and Iowa and, and Pittsburgh and Syracuse, and uh, we've learned from those experiences. You know, your eyes get opened by what those uh, what those programs provide their young men and uh, you know you try to assimilate it as best you can because if we aspire to beat them we better aspire to be somewhat like them in our preparation and uh, we've done that you know and uh, it's it's been something that uh, we're pretty proud of in the fact that uh, we've we've learned from our experiences with the uh, the FBS teams and it's made us better with the FCS teams you know uh, you know Saturday's win at Norfolk makes us 10 and 2 over the last two years on the road um, you know, that's a pretty good record. You mentioned Norfolk State. You get out there, it's, football's a little different in the fact that in preseason you don't get to play anyone else other than yourself. You don't get a tune-up game, I guess you could say. It, you don't really know what you've got until you get out there and play. So what did you take away from the game? Well, you're right, Brian. You're, you're nailing it. There's a lot of mystery and unknown going into the first game. The mystery is of your, of your opponent because no matter what you see from the year before, there's usually some sort of change coaching staff change maybe, uh, personnel change, transfers, those kind of things that take place. Um, is there a new quarterback, you know, or is there a new defensive coordinator? So you, there's a lot of, as I said, mystery into the opponent and then the unknown is yourself. I mean, as much as you uh, get a chance to practice through the course of the spring, prepare in the summer, go through your preseason, you know, how do you really know when you're going against yourself what level you're at? We like to think that, you know, we get a pretty good measure, but, you know, there's an opponent out there that really uh, determines that when you play that first game. So uh, make no mistake about it, the, the, the mystery and, and the unknown in the first game resonates for everybody across the country. I, I, I think everybody's got that anxiety or, or you know, thought process about how we're going to be and what are they going to be like. Um, and getting the first one under your belt with a win certainly is, is real refreshing and, and uh, invigorating. It, it, it makes you, you feel good uh, and you get to work off of and grow off of a win as opposed to a loss. And a 23-6 to 6 win is a nice way to start the season. It is. You know, I mean, uh, obviously there was a lot of uh, good things that happened because we won the football game. Um, but there's also so much there that we're going to learn and grow from. Uh, in regards to our offense, defense, and special teams, uh, our schemes, how we do our business, our personnel. You know, some guys uh, played better than we thought they would, and some guys didn't play as well as we thought they should. Um, that's, you know, pretty much an evaluation you probably take away from every game, but it is a building uh, or starting point to, for the, to get the building blocks uh, stacked up the right way. And still, nice to be home. So, next week time, Saturday afternoon kick it off against Brian. It'll be nice to be back here in Orono with your home base. Oh yeah, I mean, I, uh, we're, we're very much looking forward to, to all the opportunities we have to play. I mean, I think, you know, the first one's the first one. Uh, the second one's at Gillette against a, a, a great uh, rival opponent, you know, other than New Hampshire. UMass is a team that uh, we've played second most times in our program's history. 
Um, so, and there's some familiarity with that program, even though they've moved on. You know, they played out here two years ago in, in 11, so uh, that's exciting. And then to be able to come home the following week and, uh, and just play in front of uh, our home fan base, uh, the University of Maine campus and community, is, that's exciting as well. All right, Coach, we thank you very much for your time. Very busy man. I uh, hope to hear from you again later on in the season. But for now, time for our Maine Dairy Promotions Board Tip of the Week. Want your family to eat better? Get to know your food better. When you make a connection with your food, where it comes from, how it's grown or raised, you are more conscious of what you eat. Fall is a great time to get to know your food and its producers. Tour the agricultural barns at your local fair, plan a trip to an apple orchard or pumpkin patch, peruse a farmer's market, or visit a local dairy farm. Know more and eat well. Learn more at drinkmainmelt.org. EBS Building Supplies knows time is the most valuable resource you have. That's why they offer free delivery anywhere in their service area. Fast, convenient, and free. That's the EBS way. So whether you're a professional contractor or a do-it-yourself homeowner, no delivery is too small or too big. And custom ordering is always available. Use EBS free delivery to make your life easier and your home improvement project complete faster. EBS Building Supplies. Can do. Just ask. Hey, Black Bear fans, this is Brandon McGowan, UMaine alum and NFL safety, reminding you that your body needs many kinds of foods to help you play hard and stay healthy. That's why it's important to make sure you fuel up each day with nutrient-rich foods such as low-fat and fat-free dairy, fruit, vegetables, and whole grains, and get at least 60 minutes of physical activity every day. Go to fuelupplay60.com to learn more about how you can eat healthy, get active, have fun, and make a difference. I know the car accident wasn't technically your fault. But we, as the insurance company, deny this claim. We might fix your car. But medical bills? Pain and suffering? Lost wages? You're asking for a lot. Oh, you've got a lawyer. Joe Bornstein. This conversation is over. Call the lawyer you need to know. 1-800-CALL-JOE. Right now. Welcome back to Black Bear Insider. Now time for our student athlete profile of the week, joined by Holly Stewart, uh, field hockey extraordinaire here for the Black Bears. Holly, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Now this is a student athlete profile and you're someone who excels both on and off the field. Talk to me a little bit about what it's like balancing uh, collegiate ath academics with collegiate athletics. Um, balancing is always kind of a, one of those things that student athletes have to work with. But um, I just really try and manage my time well you know, no inter not a lot of internet, just making sure that the free time I have, I use it wisely. Um, yeah. No internet, that must be very difficult. Yeah, for exams, I like, a month before exams, I get my friend to change my password on Facebook and stuff. Wow, so. that's going to extremes. I know a lot of people couldn't handle that. <laughs> Your GPA, uh, a robust uh, 3.98, uh, that's really impressive. Uh, I guess I just work hard at it and uh, yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations. I would have loved to have had something, even half of that in my collegiate years. But uh, So talk to me a little bit about your uh, on-the-field performance. You know, uh, things have gone pretty well for you here in Orono. Yeah, um, I'm on a great team, and um, I just try and do what I can to help everyone out. Um, it's a great group of girls. Um, this year especially, it's really um, easy to play with, and uh, some really exciting hockey. Now, you've actually been honored both on and off the field. Talk to me about some of the things that, uh, the honors you've been given over the last couple of seasons. Um, uh, I mean, freshman year, I was Rookie of the Year. Um, I've been second team All-Star for America East, I think, freshman year and sophomore year. Um, all academic teams. Um, I don't really know the exact titles. I don't really. There are so many that you pay can't attention to that. That's very, very impressive. <laughs> so now and now going forward here in the 2013 season, uh, talk to me about how things are going. Um, we haven't got the results we're looking for, but um, I'm really excited for where this season's going to go. Uh, we've had um, each game we've really progressed. Uh, first game we struggled a bit on offense, but um, we really picked it up since there. We scored four, four goals in our last game. Um, so I just think it's going to keep getting better, and we're looking to get our first win uh, Saturday. And any, any big dates that are you really looking forward to? Any big opponents moving on uh, down the line? Um, I usually try and focus one game at a time. So next up is Hofstra, so I'm focusing on that right now. Um, and then the next game is Quinnipiac. 
and then homecoming is on the 19th right that's always fun yeah should be good yeah, right so uh, and then you know moving forward you got uh you know obviously we're gonna talk with coach in a couple of seconds here uh how what is it like uh playing for your coach oh uh, it's great um since being recruited by uh josette i always thought she was a really um a great coach really understanding and um she cares a lot about the players here all right, well, thank you very much, Holly. And now, time for the Black Bear Road Cam. We'll take a look at the sights and sounds from the Frozen Fenway press conference. <laughs> Take me out to the crowd Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks I don't care if I ever get back. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how excited are you? Eleven point six. We got a go. free game at the Red Sox. Hey, Mark, what do you got there, buddy? These are chicken fingers. Why are you having those? I'm hungry. Have you ever been on the field before? Uh, no. Besides Fenway. Uh, a couple times, and it wasn't a good show. <laughs> What are you going to do? He said he's going to do a Number 30, Ali Almero. I was going to race Mark around the bases, but I guess that's frowned upon. 50% of our daily raffle revenue. The other 50% will benefit the Red Sox Foundation and its charitable program. Red Sox Foundation volunteers are selling raffles at you. Know, Earlier in the show, we heard from Coach Jack Cosgrove. His main football team hosted a Meet the Black Bears event just a few weeks ago, and by far it was the best attended event they've ever put on. Ready, Mark, get set, go! Probably 10 years ago, there were probably 20 kids here, you know, but, you know, as we always say, keep doing things you think are the right things to do, and, you know, we've got over 200 here tonight, and I think they're all having a good time. This is a great night. This will be my fifth time here. This is probably the biggest outcome we've had here so far with all the little kids. It's a great night for the little kids to come around, play with college football players. I remember when I was young, when I was at Delaware, from Delaware, we got to do this. 
around there, colleges around there. So it was an experience to go out there. The kids are like 20 years old. You always look up to them. See, one day you're going to be a college football player. So run drills with them. It's kind of like motivation because you see them, you see how much of an impact they have on you, and it just brings joy to, to me to see them smiling. It's great. They're a lot of fun. You see, they're having a blast out here right now. And so are we. We're having tons of fun. Even the coaches are having a lot of fun putting them through drills. So it's a great experience for everybody. There you go. Yeah, don't worry about it. You got it, buddy. Oh, look at the spiral. <laughs> you know, it, it's kind of synonymous with the, the growth of football in the state. You know, you see high schools and the communities are adding adding the sport and, and more young people are getting involved in it. And I think that's, that's just great for the game of football. I feel like I'm an NFL player here. It's just it's exciting. You know, you see them smile from ear to ear. It's just bring joy to me. There you go, buddy. Did you have fun today? Yeah? I did two camps this summer here, and a lot of kids here who I did camps with are out here anyway, so they're all coming up to me. So it's a great feeling to have them here and see them around here. And even they'll probably come to the game still. We'd love to have them come to the game. In fact, that's a byproduct of this, inviting them to, to come on, on a youth night and, and have some fun and, and see a college football game. And, and you can see that they're, uh, they've been practicing a little bit. They, some of them are they're in their shirts and uh, having a great time and, and showing off some skills. It's a great amount of buzz going around right now. We feel good. I hope the state of Maine feels good because I think we got a real strong team here and it should be a special year. Week three, we're home. Yeah, that's, that's, our, that's our first game at home. But, uh, you know, we, we would have done this if we weren't going to be here. This is just a fun thing to do. Touchdown dances is always fun watching kids do touchdown dances, see what they have there. They're doing the touchdown dances that NFL players do, so it's always fun watching them. You know, I just think this is a wonderful opportunity for the university, for this, this facility to showcase itself. And the more events we bring here that involve our community and, and those that are our fans and friends, uh, the better off we're going to be. In today's social media crazed world, with Facebook and Twitter at the forefront of everyone's conversations, the main black bears are evolving and they've got you covered this season. Take a look. We just got this new mobile application called Black Bear Nation. It's going to be a great way for our fans to stay connected with the teams that they're interested in. Uh, it allows you to look at a, a schedule of all the home events as well as earn points by checking in to our home events and other, uh, other events such as coaches shows and uh, those points go towards rewards uh, which we'll be continuing to add to throughout the year. Right now some of the, uh, the more notable ones are you get a free Papa John's cheese stick just for signing up and uh, we have some larger prizes such as a skybox for the February 28th men's hockey game uh, that if, once you reach 1500 points which is you know if you go to 15 games or various other ways that you could earn the points you're entered into a raffle for them. When you load it up, you'll have, the, you'll have six different options. Uh, you can view the event calendar. You can look at the different social media sites that we have. You can look at the uh, different rewards that we have in there, you know, looking at the ones that you already have by signing up, such as the Papa John's cheese stick and the ones that are, would be currently locked if you didn't have enough points. Account information, so for instance, students can register in their, uh, in their dorm or as a fraternity or sorority member and get credit for that type of thing. You can register as an alumni or if you're faculty and staff, there are certain uh, benefits that we'll have for those groups as well. It's a way that we're hoping fans can get rewarded for their participation at our events and uh, you know, also keeps them connected in other ways. Like I said, with the schedule, uh, it allows you to post uh, pictures of yourself at the game and you can earn points that way, as well as uh, you know, interaction with social media. It's free for everyone. You can download it on uh, the iTunes Store or the Google Play Store. And if you don't have a smartphone, you can also go to go, uh, excuse me, BlackBearNation.com, and the uh, it, it'll work the same as it does on the cell phone. It's here, yeah. It's exciting that we're finally releasing it, and uh, you know, looking forward to some home games this weekend to actually see it in progress. For incoming college freshmen, that transition from mom and dad's house to your freshman dorm is not an easy one. Well, a member of the Maine women's hockey team wanted to make that transition as easy as possible. Here is the Maine Hello. Today is just all the freshmen and the um, newbies kind of just 
moving into the dorms, getting settled, ready for the school year. I think it's kind of exciting, like a lot of people, it's their first time moving into college. It's a first time meeting people in college and whatnot, and it's really exciting to get to, new, get to know new people and um, see everyone around. We want to promote our team, you know, we want people to come to our games, come to our games. Um, it's fun, like, we're just trying to help the community out, let people know who we are. Here we go. If a car pulls up, I just uh, go up to them and say, what room are you in? And then hopefully they say first floor, but uh, no, just grab their stuff and bring it up to them. It was pretty easy because when I got up to my room, all my stuff was already outside of it. So I just had to move it in there and I, my mom made my bed and everything and then I set up my room a little bit. Now we're going to walk around. It has been awesome. I had this wonderful hockey team, girls hockey team, help me move right in. It was easy, it was simple and I felt like I should probably help them. But, you know, it's awesome. It was definitely main hello. Oh, oh I got a good one. Ha. <laughs> I tell them like it's going to be an awesome year. It's really exciting, and they're going to love you, Maine. It's it's a great place with great people, and you're going to have a lot of fun. You just kind of got to ride through it. It's like like I said, it's not going to be the easiest thing in the world, but with friends and family, like we're here, go to games, meet a lot of people, teachers. You just got to stick with it. Hey, I'm Bruce from His Wireless Company. He could have switched to U.S. Cellular and been rewarded with a new phone faster, but why do that when it's so rewarding keeping your old phone forever? It's working. I'm a man, honey. <laughs> Married a man. U.S. Cellular believes you deserve better. With reward points to get you new phones faster. U.S. Cellular. Hello better. Well, that wraps it up for this week's episode of Black Bear Insider. We'll hope you join us every other Sunday as we talk about everything you need to know about the University of Maine athletics programs here in Orono. If you want more information, go to goblackbears.com. For now, we'll say goodbye, and on that note, we'll say, Go Black Bears!